I think you might have already guessed how lit this video is going to be. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm taking you with me for a little bit of Diwali shopping and a little bit of eating. I'm here in the Mahim Matunga area. I'm going to be visiting Kandil Gali. I love visiting that place during this time of the year and I'm also going to be sharing with you some of my favorite uh, hidden gems to enjoy over here. Those of you who don't know, I grew up in the Mahim area so I have a lot of places that have been here since my Bajpan which was like long long ago but uh, I just thought of sharing them with you in this video. These are all hidden gems. I don't think many people are aware of them so I'm going to leave the exact locations and stuff in the description box below so do check that before you actually come here. Now the first place that I want to take you to is a place called Kailash. The exact landmark for this is City Light Cinema. There's a very tiny lane right next to City Light Cinema and that is where this is located. I think the main building is called Sahyo Cooperative Society and this shop is like right there. It opens after 4 or 5 in the evening and you get all kinds of chart here. Ragra patties, ragra puri, pani puri. These are three things that I recommend having here. They are very very different than regular places. For example, the ragra patties is topped with so much onion. And this sweet chutney also has a peculiar flavor. I feel like it's a little bit of salt or dry ginger, but they add a lot of it and it is extremely tasty. This is one serving, it costs 40 rupees and it's quite a satisfying plate. Another thing that you have to try over here is ragra puri. Now the same ragra which is there on the patties is there inside the puri and of course topped with chutneys and onion and lots and lots of sev. This ragda is essentially white peas and uh, it's not overdone, it's perfectly flavorful. Pani puri is also good here, bale puri is also good here and uh, this is a place that gets super crowded in the evening. It's like a local Mahim Matunga residence favorite maybe. There's not much sitting place, you have to stand and eat but it's like a quick bite, it's not a hangout spot. I would recommend you guys to visit here. They also give sukha puri here so don't forget to ask for that after you're done. Price wise, it is extremely reasonable and worth every penny. I literally took a few minutes to just walk past Kandil market. All of the lights and the beautiful designs and patterns had me totally confused. So I thought of taking a little bit of a break and showing you a Pani Puri place that I love. I think I've shared this with you in my earlier videos as well. This is a shop called Rasika right next to Bata showroom on Sitla Devi Temple Road in Mahim. And uh, this place has such good Pani Puri at a very very decent price. So I'm going to be going and getting one. I'm just back from a very very long trip to various places in the north. but. Pani Puri of Mumbai hits different and I have shared this place before also in my video but I'm going to leave the location again in the links for you this time. Happiness is cherishing Suha Puri after Pani Puri. The cost of this is 30 rupees and uh, it's very very reasonably priced for the taste and the quality. So I definitely recommend you to come and try this. After all of this walking around if there's something that I crave it is a refreshing cold drink and uh, sugarcane juice happens to be one of my favorites if you've known that for a long time and if it's your favorite too then high five in the comments and there's a shop actually in Mahim which I've been going to for many many years it's opposite Naturals I'm going to again leave the exact location in the description box below I think the name of the shop is Shiv Shankar Sahai Juice Center it's just so funny how I can identify these uh, juice shops just from the way they look but uh, sometimes I don't even know or remember the names of their places but there is a memory attached to them which is what makes me come back to them again and again. So here is a glass of sugarcane juice, it costs 20 rupees. A sugarcane glass, you chug. Now right opposite this sugarcane juice shop is uh, another old favourite Vada Pao and Bhaji store. It's called Datta Krupa Snack Centre and I've actually shared with you in a previous video. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below so make sure you check that. But let me just tell you quickly, this place is famous for its uh, moong dal bhajis and uh, their vada pao and the chutney that they give with it is spectacular. But if you want to know more about this, then check the link in the description box. All of this variety and I will end up buying only one thing which is Kaju Katli. Absolutely love the one that you get at Sandesh. Sandesh is like this old sweet shop of this area. They have a huge variety 
of Bengali sweets and uh, I can actually vouch for two things from here. One is definitely the kaju katli and the other is jalebi. They actually fry fresh jalebi. I remember coming here on weekends, Sundays in the morning to have it and uh, that is also really good and they now even have chart and stuff outside so you can try that as well so all in all this is like a landmark uh, sweet shop in this area and people who've been here definitely at least once in their life have purchased something from here or had something from here for diwali they do these special mithai boxes and gift boxes and this is what they look like Welcome to one of the biggest kandil markets in Mumbai. So this is the famous kandil gali in Matunga Mahim area. And this starts like a week before Diwali and goes on probably till the last day of Diwali. So you can come here at any point and get your kandil, your diyas, rangoli stuff and so many other things. So let me just take you around the whole market. So the Akash Kandil is one of my favourite and probably one of the most common. Traditionally, you buy the frame of the Kandil and then you change it and redo it every year on your own. But in case you cannot find the time to do that, you can come and you can select from the various kinds of Akash Kandils here. Prices start as low as 300, 350 and they go all the way up to probably 10,000 rupees. And you can also find various other kinds of kandils and I'm just going to show you a variety here. But trust me, this doesn't do justice to the amount of different designs that you can see here in person. Now you can technically buy lanterns or if you want something simpler or probably a little bit more jazzy as well, you can buy the wired lights. Now you get a lot of them that are made in India and different shapes, different sizes, different colors, different patterns. The range is just massive. So here I can see some that are stars, some that are these like glass bowl kinds, then there are diyas. And then we have this entire twine which is around the leaf and these simpler ones as well. Something Diwali is incomplete without obviously is diyas. And uh, I just love the basic ones, the mitti ke diye. And these ones here are so pretty, so cute. And it's a really tiny one, but a very cute one. I'm getting this. The cost of these is 10 rupees for a pair. Right outside this restaurant called Thangabali, I found uh, so many different diyas. So there are ones with this lotus and then there's place to put your tea light. And then there's this one with Ganesh ji, but this one is super, super delicate. This one is super unique. It is like so ornamented and decorated. There's like this uh, peacock feather or a fan out of sorts and this is where you put your tea light it's very very pretty even as a showpiece i think i'm gonna get this this costs 170 rupees a pair you get to see such different different things here so this is a hand painted uh, bottle almost giving that stained glass effect and inside is a copper wire oh it looks so beautiful so these here are very different from the typical akash kandils the structure or the shape is pretty much the same but the way they've done and the art used on them is extremely unique so this one has a pethani work on it which is local to maharashtra and just the colors used the intricacy of the work and even uh, the patterns and the designs they are so so gorgeous i love that all of these are in bright colors including the embroidery on it and the tassels are actually not just like simple paper they feel like uh, you know a part of a pethani sari almost i think for me the highlight for this year's uh, kandil gali has to be this shop right here for me these designs are super super unique i don't think i've seen something that similar so these are kandils that are made of thread like you know thicker chunkier thread and uh, it's kind of got that shredded uh, chop type of finish they look so beautiful lit up and they are in so many so many different colors i asked her the price for one she said 650 rupees but uh, they definitely are very very unique so this is the kandil and it is extremely easy to fold that's it this goes inside you can store it in your cupboard or drawer or shelf or wherever. Normally my kandil at home ends up taking like a whole shelf but this just can be stored away so easily. So I think for me I might take a slightly smaller version of this. Let me just show you all the different colours that they have. So this here is a beautiful baby pink colour and each one has its matching latkan as well. Then we have a lime green colour and this one has a colourful latkan. Then we have this uh, different shades of pink and there's also a little bit of red. 
Then we have this which is plain white but this is this so pristine looking and many more colors. I think somehow for me this multicolored one is like the most attractive. I asked her to put a bulb inside and show me and it is just looking so beautiful. I'm borderline fascinated with this. I was kind of held up on that uh, multicolor the bright one until I saw this fluorescent one. So this one has two effects in white light it looks more neon but I like it with this yellow light where um, I think this is like defining festivity for me so I am getting this. So apart from actually buying things the Kandil market is an exceptional place for a photo op. If you want to take like those perfect Instagram style Pinterest style Diwali pictures with lots and lots of light in the background different kind of kandils different colors and make sure you come here and uh, get your fix. As you can see I got so many of them. Last stop for the day is a place called Shobha. Now this is a pure veg restaurant Udupi style in this area and it's actually right opposite the Kandil Gali and it's kind of a ritual we go to Kandil Gali eat here and then head back home. So that's what I'm doing. Now my favorite dish over here is the idli sambar. I've loved it for many many years. It's a very simple sambar, not too sweet, not too sour, not too spicy and minimal vegetables but it feels good. It's one of those comforting tastes that you have memories attached to. You can actually enjoy desi chinese, desi style pizza, south indian, north indian, a lot of different stuff from their menu. So this here is a paneer tikka masala that my friend is having. And you can actually enjoy parathas, uh, shezwan rice, noodles, pizza, juices and various other things here. It is pretty reasonably priced. So I think for me today's evening has been such a fun one. I absolutely love visiting Kandil market and just the vibe here during this time of the year is absolutely spectacular. I did visit this market even last year and I'm going to leave that video in the description box below in case you guys want a little bit more festive vibe. But that is really it from me in this video giving you all of the love and all the light this Diwali and I hope you have a very 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 happy Diwali and uh, stay subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!